yeah uh, this enterprise of Pigare uh, actually it is one of the projects I started in 2014 um, this um, Pigare actually started with the local pigs but as I went on I saw these pigs the local pigs were not uh, working on well they would they had some other challenges so basing on those challenges I had to research that if I want to venture much into this pigare and get profits, make sure that I get, I get uh, uh, good pigs and I get profits out of it. First of all was to look at the breed. The local breed was not important. Then I searched and found out that there was a, there was a, uh, a breed called Cambraf. The Cambraf breed, actually when you look at it, it grows faster at six months. It can, it can mate if it is a male, if, even it can conceive if it's a female. You can even sell. It is, has reached its full stage. Uh, two, the good thing with the Cambraf, it can produce many piglets. Now this one, it is between 10 to 15 piglets when it uh, uh, one delivery. So you find you, uh, the, the project tend to grow very fast. Uh, three, you find these Cambra pigs, uh, they are not uh, breaking in feeding because now this pig, it is over 200 kilograms. But in the morning, I give it one kilogram, in the afternoon, one kilogram, and in the evening, one kilogram. What makes these pigs grow faster and bigger? It's not just food, but water. You have to make sure your pigs have enough water. That's why we had to innovate and have these nipples. When I tried to search on, on science of the pigs, they are not meant to take water sip at once. They are meant to take a little by little. They eat and take, eat and take. So we looked at those who use it to pour water that this pig will take. It would take once, this water gets dirty, and in the end, it stops taking it. It just play in it over. Then it will not be taking water. But when you have these nipples, it will take this water from the nipple and even may not, it will not take this dirty one. That means if you had put it here, you will be limiting it. And what makes it feel comfortable? Not to find it when it is breathing, when it is having high temperatures and the like, is frequent taking of water. Uh, this water system or with a nipple, anybody can have it. You don't need to have electricity to have this nipple water, no. You just have to get your tank, raise it up, when you are, get your stands, put the power into the tank. Then you connect it down the, the, the plumbing system. You will be able to, to use this. Now, after starting, I also found that uh, pigs uh, which, which were kept in uh, concrete uh, made structures with cement and the like, they were too expensive. And for me, when I'm beginning a venture, I make sure I look at where I put in a little, but get a lot. Like emo structures, you are seeing. These emo structures, you have to dig a pit down, three feet. Then uh, you have to pour in this sawdust. You can go from where they are plumbing, uh, they are doing lumbering. You can access these ones. Then uh, you pour it up to two feet of that pitch. Now, the one feet, the one foot that remains on top, you preserve it. Uh, to cover to be covered by this trough so this trough is seated on a farm ground it is not part of the ditch of the three feet it is just on top where you put your uh, uh, trough for feed and the trough for collecting this uh, leaking water from the pig that you cannot take uh, this also makes it hygienic when you want to have an emo structure it has to be dry because if this water happened to flow and come in here it will mean now this may not be emo now. It becomes, it can actually harbor some infections. It can harbor those fungal infections. Even it can produce heat, which heat can even affect this pig. The ones and it, it, it may get into swine fever maybe. The virus can have good environment to, to grow. Now, what is emo? Uh, emo structures, uh, that is in full, it is using inorganic microorganisms. Now, the science there, when this pig uh, 
uh, releases its waste, the microorganism uh, bring me that t bucket, that um, t uh, that uh, drum. So you find, bring it for me. Now you find uh, those microorganisms when you it is called the vetline powder. The vetline powder, you what is my tin or container of vetline powder? Do you have it? Uh huh. You bring it here. Bring it here. At, from here. So now the vetline powder. What is it? Now this one. You have to. Uh huh. This tin called vetline powder. Uh, the vetline, this vetline powder. Uh, you get the powder from it and uh, mix it into water. The whole of this can can accommodate five jerry cans. This can mix five jerry cans. But uh, you try to estimate, uh, like this one, we normally make of two jerry cans. When you put two jerry cans here of water, we get some like um, uh, three spoons of veteran powder. Put it. You cover it well. You cover it well, and you can put in the uh, maize bran. Now, this maize bran acts as food for these microorganisms. So you have to leave it for a period of four to seven days. From four to seven days, microorganisms will have started growing. Then you get your water, this water. You will see it even having some microorganisms which have started growing. So, when you just get have to smash it into, into the structure, into the structure. So, these microorganisms will grow. After growing, this pig, as soon as it is, drops its waste, those microorganisms will have multiplied and they start eating on it. In three hours, you will not see the, the waste where it has gone. It becomes dust. It breaks it into dust. And that dust will keep on coming in, coming in, coming in for around uh, five to six months. This dust will rise and you find it getting into soil. Then that is the time you are supposed to remove this soil dust and put it into the farm. How much do you, do you have for This is actually, even if it is uh, half a cup, it's enough of this water. Because there's a, there are a lot of microorganisms here. Mm -hmm. you, when you, you spray, you sprinkle around, there is a lot of microorganisms here. But, and after putting, they keep on multiplying. You don't have to put a lot. They will multiply themselves around. Uh, this has to be, you have to add in ever after three months, three to four months. You can even go to four months provided you keep your structures dry. So if you put in, if they are, it is dry, you go at six, that's when you add in more. Then uh, for removing this, it can be six to seven months, depending on how much volume the pig is producing. And those microorganisms, mm. after eating more of the waste, mm. when they become sick, they become mm. also to the animal. This, some time, because you are saying they, they eat all the waste, mm. and when they, they have died. Mm. No, uh, the micro, as you have said, it is micro. That means they are, they, they are invisible, that's, that's the, the first thing. Two, they only feed on biodegradable products, materials that, are, that can decay. So if something is living, it cannot even have yeah, touched it, but uh, even they, they uh, will put chachu, that's what they feed on. But something which can decay, that's what they feed on. So we have not had any of our pigs maybe finding when it has some issues in the legs and like no, but it just deals with that waste. And the pig cannot stop passing out waste. So as it keeps on wasting, uh, producing waste, the microorganisms feed. The other is vet what? Vetline powder. Vetline powder. Mm. Well, they did have a substitute. Yes. Uh, before I started using this one, I used to do my own emo. Now, when you want to make an emo, your own emo, you get rice. Get rice, get some sugar, uh, boil the rice, 
leave it to cool to get cold a bit with some kind of uh, with some sugar in it then after get that rice with its sugar cover it into a, a polythen bag a polythen paper then after that you can make it a hole down after making a hole down put it there cover it for seven days get out this rice and uh, mix it into water you do the same as i've done those microorganisms you have grown there then you start getting it into like it, can, it begins working like this now uh, yes it's a little bit cheap but uh, we are looking when you are doing extensive farming because now um actually i'm um, the district um a uh, commercial farmer we have pigare on a large scale if you begin that uh, you find at times it can delay waiting for seven days when you want to work on one structure it may take some time so we resorted to this one which is a bit cheaper but when you don't have it we have the skills we do make hours to make sure that our emo is maintained uh, the disadvantage of emo one, uh, if you are to use this for agricultural use, maybe you want to put into um, into the plantations. This doesn't have enough nutrients because some of the much of the nutrient is taken over by the these microorganisms. So this may not be so nutritious to fertilize the the ground. Uh, the, also, the, the, um, the disadvantage of it, uh, maybe uh, it can be uh, being expensive because now you have to put in some money to buy this. Because this, um, we get it at 40, 40,000. So uh, if somebody doesn't have money, it becomes hard to get this. But what we do, we make sure we teach these other people, the outgrowers, we move with the outgrowers. Uh, in this business. So those who do not do this, we have always radio programs where we teach them how to make the other local ones and then they start making these emo projects. And actually many have come from, have gotten uh, this breed of Cambraf by getting their local pigs, we cross them with our maid. Then they also get the same breed and they have constructed these structures using the other local way of making emo from that race. And they have, they're excelling. How many do you have on this farm? Uh, currently, we have, um, we have uh, 78 old pigs. But uh, of recent, we have just supplied our uh, area MP, Dr. Emile Kugonza. We supplied him 30. Then uh, our uh, MP for Bugangaizi East. Uh, the Minister for Works, uh, Transport, Transport. Uh, for him, we took 50. And uh, here we have IMESCO. We have organizations who order for piglets here in order to give their people when, when they want to go into this venture. In selling, how much do you sell? Uh, a piglet is at 200,000. A piglet of six weeks, that is one and a half months to two months. We don't sell pigs before they get to that age. Reason being, when you give someone a piglet that is still breastfeeding, it becomes very hard for this pig to grow. And this person may hate the project. So for us, after weaning them from their mother, we put them on uh, pellets. That is called the weaning feed for, for, for younger pigs. So uh, these pellets, we make sure that at least this pig, piglet, gets it for two to four weeks. That is two weeks to one month. In that time, we can we are winning now our piglets. And then somebody can buy and take home. Is your family involved in this project? And how? Uh, my family actually is involved uh, 100%. Uh, reason being, uh, when I'm not around, my wife is the vice to me. So for me, at six, I make sure I'm up. To feed these pigs uh, because uh, I, I, I yes i have workers around but uh, to me i need to see my animal has really had enough food 
um, has had a good night. Uh, the nipples are working well. Then the workers also come in to clean around, also to support me in the feeding. Then, uh, as I'm doing this, my wife also the other side. Either she can be in the poultry or she can come and work together here with our workers. For us, we work as one. When you find us in this structure, in this style, you may not understand who the boss is. <laughs> All of us, you, I bring Chachu, he brings what he connects water, he brings these foods around, the peelings. So in the morning, we all have to be there. I think that's why I don't grow old. Hey, I do exercises. <laughs> and uh, to put that aside, uh, you are talking too much of you and the wife. Uh, don't you have children? Don't you involve them in your business? Yes, my children, actually just because they are not at school. I have the Kalito one who is in nursery. But also, like in the poultry project, my child is there. Then this project alone, that child who is the, who is the nursery, even manages them. Because with emo structures, she doesn't have to come and collect the waste and like, it is just put in. We just give her, she comes with this, we measure with this. We tell her you put two or three depending on the size. But these ones we don't allow her to come because they can injure her. But these small ones, she comes with a plate and put, get the uh, maize brand and put, maize brand and put. Then from here, we also, she also goes in the poultry. She likes poultry. She goes and plays with those birds and, you know. So my family is 100% involved. And the two, when it comes to school issue, I know these days they are more practical now. Last time I was sharing with my uh, daughter, who is in P6 at uh, Notre Dame, she told me when it comes to, when they talk about the piggery, they say, Rachel, tell us, because you have pigs at home. They are point of reference at school because they know they do this work and they have been doing it better. <laughs>